Welcome back to RX Muscles Iron Road to the Arnold Classic 2020, brought to you by Chemical Warfare. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's guest is a guest I've wanted to get on the show for over a year now. He was second place at the Arnold Classic, bringing one of his best looks ever, I think, and he was second place at the Olympia. Uh, I know he's going for number one uh, come the Arnold Classic this year. The man I'm talking about, of course, is William Bonac. Welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. I got to start off by saying what a stellar year you had. And I want to also say that I think your look that you brought to the Arnold in that second place that you got last year was the best William Bonac I've ever seen. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, that battle between you and Curry at the Arnold, I mean, it could have been a coin flip. Everyone said it. You know, I, I actually had you winning personally, but... It was very, very close, and I know that was a hard-fought battle for you. Um, it just seemed like everything clicked for you. Fullness, conditioning, presentation. I mean, were you happy with what you brought to the Arnold? I know you weren't happy with not winning, but were you happy with the look you had? Um, not, not so much, but, you know, I was, we, we could have, that time it's just like, like we could have done better, you know, it's, but... It is what it is. We could have done better, but... Uh, what could have been better about you at the Arnold? Excuse me? What could have been better at the Arnold about the way you looked? What would you have liked to have done better? I, at I that think you could have, like, more, more, like, dryness, harder, you know, more conditioning. Um, uh, the fullness was good. Everything was on point, yeah. you know, but just the conditioning could be better, you know. Do you really think that? I mean, you brought better conditioning to the Olympia, but you you seem to have been you were a little smaller for the Olympia. That's 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 what I mean. Because if I had, a, I wanted to have the same uh, condition as the Olympia, but with the fullness from Arnold, you know. But as I so yeah, it, it just yeah, I had bad luck, you know. So right, I I personally think if you would have brought the Arnold look, even though I know you think it should have been harder, I think you would have won the Olympia. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I no? don't think so. <laughs> nah. I think that was a great look you brought. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the why yeah. If if it was so, then I should have won the odd rope, right? Yeah, well yeah, I, I thought you should have. Yeah, I do. I do. But you know yeah. what? I think Brandon was better at the Arnold than he was at the Olympia too. I think, you know, I think he, his conditioning was was not good, as good as it was when he won the Arnold Classic, that's for sure. Which, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know yeah. you agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. But he was full. He was really full, big, huge, you yeah. know, and uh I think like uh, he like overall, you know, that gave him the advantage, you know. And I love size, you know. Um, most of the guys, yes, like size wise, yes, couldn't compete with him, right. you know. So I think the advantage went. Based on ago. your 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 look at the Arnold, what did you weigh on stage at both of those shows? At Arnold uh, last year. Yeah. Um, I can't recall. I think about one hundred and three kg. Right. At the Arnold's. And um, at the Olympia, I was about like maybe um, 100, 100 kg or something. 101 yeah, that's kg. a big difference for you. That's a huge difference. Yeah. So you want to get yeah. somewhere in between yeah. now. Is that what you're looking to do? No, I want to get back to the 103 kg, 4 kg, you know, but with the same condition as. Um, as uh, the Olympia. And I think it's possible. Okay, this time we didn't have, you know, enough time, you know, but I think it's possible, you know, to bring the condition, you know, especially now I'm doing the R notes. Right. Understand? I will still be, you know, at least I will, after the R notes, I will still try and keep my, you know, my shape, my condition, try to keep it. And then uh, so I don't have to, you know, do a lot of crazy stuff, you know, going to the Olympia. Sure. sure. Yeah. Is it hard? After the Olympia, to come off in Olympia, obviously second place. I, I mean, I know you wanted to win, obviously, but you come off in second place, and then you got to go right back into almost a contest diet for the Arnold. How mentally tough is that to do as a competitor? Uh, I'm always hungry, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> I always want to battle. You understand? And um, it was also a good opportunity, you know, for sure. Big Rami to come back. You understand? So. Uh, you know, to make to give it more hype, you understand. So, and it's for me like I I'm only doing the Arnold Classic Ohio. You know, after that I'm taking off. Right. So I still have enough time, you understand. You know, to go off, you know, and then prep myself for right. the Olympia. Right. And my plan was actually not to do the Arnold Classic, 
But due to circumstances, you know, I still did it, you know, and uh, did a, a promote us a favor as well. Right. Now, what, yeah, what was the, um, the reason you, you picked the Arnold? Is it because of the prestige? Was it because the promoters called you? Was it because, you know, the lineup was going to be rock solid and you wanted to beat a bunch of very good people? Both. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Both of that, yeah. <laughs> because really, Rami wasn't at the Olympia, so a lot of people felt like slighted. I mean, if you go into the Arnold and you, you, you win that show and you beat Rami and some of the other guys in that lineup, I mean, now you're, you're, you're cemented as the guy, really, to beat for the Olympia, I would think. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I will leave that to other people. You know, I, <laughs> I, won't, I won't feather myself. So. <laughs> now, obviously, between the Arnold last year and the Olympia, you had the, the breakup with Neil Hill. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, it was, you did the social media, you know, Instagram video. Everyone saw it. We, know, we don't have to rehash the whole thing. Obviously, you weren't happy with whatever the financial arrangement was. You got rid of Neil. Do you think that had anything to do with the way you looked at the Olympia stage? Was was or was it just? No, 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 no. no, no. Even that, that even got me like even more hyped up. You know, because yeah. I wanted to prove everybody that I can do it by myself as yeah. well. Um, and and you know, it was I had the injury like five six weeks out. Oh, you did. You know, I had an injury. You know, um, and I always like. I have hernia as well, and it comes like once in the two years, it comes and it goes, but it's not really worse. But this time it was terrible, you know, and it broke through, and and I should have went to physio and th those kind of things so like years ago, but I don't do those stuff, you know, so that caused a problem as well. And um, uh, during my prep, all of a sudden, just, you know, during a bent over row, yeah. you know, I guess uh, I snapped my back. and. Oh. I, I couldn't like yeah, stand up anymore. I couldn't bend. And, wow! Uh, but I was so stubborn, so I just finished my whole session. So I just trained through it through another hour, <laughs> and um, and uh, yeah, from the next day going, you know, it start building up, building up, getting worse, getting worse, and eventually it blocked my nerves. So there was like almost no blood flowing through my legs, like oh, my really? upper leg. Wow! Yeah, yeah. And you so know, you didn't, so, and you didn't tell anyone this. You kept it quiet. No one yeah, knew, right? because if I tell anybody this, you know, people is like, I'm looking for excuses sure. and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm like, nah, you know, I'm going to do this. And plus, I didn't want people to notice it, you understand? Sure, no, that's smart. My, my, people, my people could notice the difference between my legs, mm -hmm. you know, so when I mention it, people will look for it. They will You're look right. For the no, weakness, that was smart not to say you know? anything. Yeah. So, yeah, so I just kept my mouth and, uh, you know. Uh, went through the pain because I had a lot of pain, you know, like 24-7. Oh, really? You were, uh, you were in chronic yeah. pain? That's that's not good, yeah. Yes, yes, a lot of pain, you know, uh, even on stage. Um, so so that's why I was even happy that I got my second place. Yeah, you know, I mean, knowing that cause, now, cause, yeah. Because five weeks out, you know, I had a mindset like I'm going to win this, you know, like the way my physique was, I knew like, okay, I'm going to win this. And right. when that happened, you know, yes, I kind of like lost a bit motivation, mm -hmm. but I was like, nah, I'm so far, so I can't give up now, you know, so I just pushed through. Gotcha. And yeah. that, that is the so start. It, it was nothing to do about Neil and uh, it was like gotcha. just bad luck. Yeah. Now, you're doing your prep, obviously, going into this Arnold Classic yourself as well. Um, and you obviously seem to know your body pretty well at this point, uh, uh, that yeah, you don't really yeah. need you know, anyone else's help. And uh, sometimes I think it's a good idea when guys actually, and I've helped plenty of people that have gone on to then help themselves later in their career. Obviously, you got the building blocks. You know what works for your body. And sometimes, you know, you're, at, at some point, you got to take control of your own physique. And I think yeah. it's, that's what you've essentially done, right? Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, listen, I always love working with Neil, you know, you know, he's just like, uh, like, you know, like personal wise, you know, he's a great guy. I always mm -hmm. love working with him. You know, he puts a lot into his edits as well, you know, um, uh, it just didn't work out through, you know, financial reasons, you know, yeah. and, and guess also like what you are saying now, like, um, we, we didn't agree on a lot of stuff because, mm -hmm. you know, I, a lot of coaches like to take control, um, I don't like to give all control. You understand? Right. I want to have the control as well. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what I'm doing. I want to gotcha. know, you understand, what's what's going on. And sometimes when I give you feedback, you know, I'm wishing you to listen to my feedback, you know, and maybe, you know, 
for one time you can do what I'm saying for my feedback so mm. we can turn things around. Let's see how that works. You know, because you can keep trying things, trying things, but it will have the same result every time. You understand? So right. at times, you understand, uh, in my personal opinion, some coaches need to, like, you know, hear the feedback of your athlete and do something with it. You understand? Instead of putting your own ideas into right. it. Right. You wanted him to yeah. take your input into account. I got you. Yeah. What, 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 it, what caused you to kind of, like, Go crazy though. I mean, you you kind of lost your mind, and and I can understand because yeah, when you're in contest not, prep, it happens, it's, you know. It's, but no, it's not it's not because contest prep goes like it is because you know it's, it's like I care for you, you understand? And yeah. once I let you in my circle, you understand? I like I let you in my house. I let you like you understand under my roof. I let yeah. you you know like among my family. That means a lot to me. You understand? So that yeah. means you mean a lot to me. You know so. Um, when I, I found out, like, I'm, I'm not going to talk this and make you look bad, but I found out a lot of stuff was going on since day one, you know, and it always came to one point. Mm -hmm. It always came to one point, you know, like, all the stuff, everything was good, but when it came to that point, yeah. it was like, you know, the financial point, it was like something was not correct, you know, and uh, it was not like one year. It was like years, years, and also things that... Um, uh, me and him had with other um, like promoters, okay. like for instance, Loaded Cup, you know, also stuff happens behind closed doors that I didn't know about, but I was the one who worked and, you know, a lot of stuff. Oh, this, this like there, was side, there were side deals being made? Is that what you're saying? Excuse me? Was he making side deals with promoters using you? Yes, and the promoter, I go to the promoter, ask for my stuff. He's like, hey, but I you understand that kind of stuff, you know. But right. for me, listen, I don't, this money is money, you understand? If, 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 if there's something you need, but this was like in the early, early years, you know, and I was angry at the promoter. And all the years, I was angry at the promoter, not knowing that. And he told me, like, no, this is not from my side, oh. you know, but because sometimes you just don't want to, you know, because you care for someone so much, you just don't want to see. Right. The other stuff. You just won't, don't want to so see. So you're saying the understand? promoter paid Neil and, and you didn't get the money? Is that the idea? Something like that. Okay. Yeah, that Something was that, like that. that. But that's that a long time ago. I put that aside. I put that aside. But that was one of the you know starting points. And mm. I just put it aside. And, you know, and... Every time I do my guest posting, you know, I make sure, you know, he gets something out of it. You understand? So that, that's for very money nice part, you, yeah. It's not nice of me. It's like because you know I'm like that. Like it's because it, when we started, we had nothing. We slept in, uh, you know, in hotels together, and he paid it sometimes for me, you know, right. and sometimes to my sponsor, you know. So we had nothing, and I always was told him like, listen, when we when I eat, you eat too. You understand? Sure. So because I'm like that, I like honesty. You understand? When you yeah. work, like you have to work honest. When you work honest, you know things don't go for a longer term. You understand? Instead of a short term, you know. Right. Yeah. So. So other than that, as a person, seriously, you understand, like, and I also regret what I did because I shouldn't went into social media with those things. But right. at that, that same day, that same moment, we had like a, a heated argument. Gotcha. And that made me like explode, like, nah, right. man, you know, like, you can't do me <laughs> like this, you know. Plus yeah. you were dieting too. I'm sure you were irritable too from dieting, right? <laughs> so yeah, as well. Yeah. But the question everyone wants to know is, did you clean up your house after that? Excuse me? Did you clean your house after that video? Did I clean my house after <laughs> you that? You said you were making fun of your house in the, in the video. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> you know, he, he one, he's one time said like, one day, like, maybe he didn't mean it. I don't think he mean it that bad, but yeah. it came, it came like, to me, it came like my shithole, you know, like, huh? you know, but you were sleeping in my shithole, you understand? When you come here, he... You, you have a bed, you know, to lay your on a roof under your, right, you know, right. so. But I think he was like, man, you know, like, if you work hard, you know, next year, everything will be different. And yeah. a year later, nothing was different. I was still in my <laughs> shithole, you know, so. Are you and, still in yeah. the shithole now or did you move out? I'm, I'm still in my shithole. <laughs> save, you know, what I, you know what the best thing is? Stay in the shithole. Save your money, man, because it doesn't, it, <laughs> no. it's only a place to live right now. No, you know, yeah, you got yeah, your whole the, life. The, so the family, the family is growing now. So, uh, just bought a house like uh, one and a half year ago, and they will finish like uh, end of March. Oh, you're oh you're like fixing it up type of thing. No, 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 new house. Oh, it's you're a building house. a new house. Where where are you yes. getting that house? It's already it's already finished, almost finished. Just nice. You know where? It's just like it's ten minutes away from my house. Where is it? What town? 
uh, Hoofddorp. Where is that exactly? You don't know that. Hoofddorp is like close to Schiphol, Amsterdam Schiphol. Nice, nice. So that's the airport. That's the. Uh, oh, airport. that's good. Yeah, you yeah. want to, you travel, so probably it's nice to be near the airport. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, congratulations yeah. on the new house for sure. And Thank you know, you. you know, going into this Arnold Classic, I know you're focused on William Bonac, and you have to be considered, I guess, the favorite. You're the highest ranking guy out there. You're second place at the Olympia, second place at the Arnold last year. How does it feel going into a show knowing that you know you're the man to beat, as opposed to say, you know, being the underdog? Um, honestly, I don't really focus on that. You know, I see sometimes some things going, you know, by YouTube and, you know, and, you know, people hyping things up. I, I try to follow that as less as possible, you know, because I want to focus on my own game. You know, so I, I don't really have, yeah, I don't really focus Doesn't on that. Bother. You no. know, a couple of years ago, probably five, six years ago, you were telling people, this is when you had just left the 212 class and went into the Open. You, you were telling people, hey, I'm going to be on that Olympia stage. I'm going to win that Olympia. And I think people thought you were probably crazy, you know, because yeah. here you are, a 212 guy, just going into the Open class. And you're telling people, hey, I, I'm going to win this thing. Yeah. And that's, that's it must feel so the... good for you to be validated, you know, and yeah. everything you said almost came true already, right? Yeah, true, true. I think I remember that was with Dexter that time. Dexter, yeah, you were called Dexter. Said, you know, yeah. <laughs> and he said you'd never be Mr. Olympia, right? And you're yeah, right there yeah, knocking yeah, on the yeah. door now. No, 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 no. He said, he said, uh, uh, Ruli will never beat me and you will never beat me, you know? It's like, yes, yeah, like you will never <laughs> able be able uh, to beat him. That, and you've beaten him a couple said, times. Yeah. yeah, you've beaten him many times already, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you'll be squaring off against Dexter, too, at that Arnold Classic, and I'm sure he'll want to be getting revenge at you. Uh, you got yeah, Big Randy. Know. You got you got a great lineup, you know, and you've beat everyone. Yeah, I know, man. It's, it's going to be a great show. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. looking forward to it, yeah. Looking well, we're looking to forward see to seeing you up on that well. stage, William, and because uh, you always have, you know what? You bring a level of excitement to the stage. I'll tell you why, because you're so passionate about what you do. You're so emotionally charged, and you can Thank see you. that when you're on stage posing, whereas a lot of guys, you don't, you don't get that level of energy from them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> we'll work on that more. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, good luck. I don't want to keep you anymore. I know you got to get back to training. I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to talk to us today, and uh, we'll see you in Columbus, Ohio. Cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys. And that's going to take us Bye -bye. to the end of another episode of RX Muscles Iron Road to the Arnold Classic 2020 brought to you by Chemical Warfare. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you next time.